So John, John, do things happen here? Uh, no, no, just my son falls asleep. <laughs> <laughs> so zero happens. <laughs> I have, I haven't known anything kind of happening in this space really. Um, Sherry, have you have you been here before? I've never been here before. I did not even know this was here. How long have gone, how long have you been in Hastings? I've been here eight years. I have gone past there probably 50 million times, like three times a day. And I I knew, you know, this little green bit here. I never knew this was here. Oh my god. That's ridiculous. So if we were ask, asking ourselves what if or what we like, what we notice. I'm just, I'm just so surprised about how green it is and how sheltered it is because the big thing here is the wind. And I mean, this would be beautiful as like a proper park, you know, where you had trees. Because in the summer, this is so hot, you know, but you had it like amazing shade trees and you could have those little, you can have a big sandbox for kids. Yeah. Um, and you could have, you know, just beautiful planting. Yeah, and then the it's kind of really cut up this way. So yeah. Cut into these long, thin strips. Yeah, yeah. You had maybe, so there are these nice benches that are connected somehow with the other other. Yeah. Like to feel a bit more welcoming. So, can you actually get down there? Strange, uh, yeah, you can there's, yeah, there's, there's loads of benches all there. But are there steps that go down, like in the middle there? That's kind of yeah. <laughs> Again, because you've got the B&Bs and the hotels and stuff. Yeah. Um, so if you opened it out slightly, because that just feels a bit sort of dodgy, sort of going and sitting in there. Yeah. It doesn't feel... Yeah. But I think I've smoked today. I'm hiding, <laughs> pretending that I'm not smoking. Not, not very good place to hide out. I mean, yeah, that is the other thing, no, isn't no, it? No, you know, no. if you want to deal drugs or whatever, this is a really good place to come. You can't do a damn thing here. Especially when it gets a little bit darker. It's so different from Eastbourne as well. That's the other thing, because you know in Eastbourne, yeah. it has a very similar thing along the seafront, but they've got yeah. all the steps down. So it's joined, yeah. it's joined up all the way through. You go up and down, up and down this way as well as going out by if, if if you look at the lighting, there's lighting that's on on that part of the road, and then there's lighting on the far end of the road, but there's no lighting. This is nothing here along this whole. So there's nothing to encourage people to walk here at night or no. to feel safe or. or yeah. You know, if you had those, you know those beautiful lights that are on the other side, those big ones on the stands. That you had those along here as well. But this would be, especially in the winter, the number of times. Yes, and also yesterday morning, I was out. It was so windy, so wet, and I was in tears because I was walking along. I could barely stand. And I'm just like, it was right there, and I thought, this is so horrible here. Mm -hmm. Just come along here. <laughs> in the green. You it could yeah. maybe we could be having um, keep fit outdoor activities yeah, here on a Saturday a morning on a as well. Mm. Like for a great spot. Encouraging people yeah. to be outdoors but less exposed than the yeah. seafront. Yeah. 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 And it's accessible, isn't it? So you could come, you know, people who are with mobility issues we're yeah. right on the, you don't have to go up and down the steps and everything over there. So. What do we think about the planting? Oh, the planting over the far side, all around. Where's Julia? <laughs> oh, she's coming this afternoon, I think. She's a, she's a landscape designer, and we were talking about this the other night. She's just going, these palm trees are just awesome. You know, they, they survive and they're kind of... Uh, yeah, they're kind of low, but like just low maintenance, aren't they? Yeah. So, but if you had it, I don't know enough about green stuff, but we, you know, we have got to get the food is a massive problem. All of these spaces, you could have fruit and nut trees, you could have underplanting with all kinds of different, you know, hedge stuff. Um, 
you know, so you've got a forage garden here as well? Yeah, yeah. That would be really lovely. That would be amazing. There's another thing about it being a shame that there's this road going down into the car yeah. park. So yeah. another, like in the, between the radial and the, the other bit that doesn't have a name in it. Yeah. Where it's just cut in half. So yeah. the much bigger, nicer public space is just being cut into two. Yeah. By yeah. But the plan will be to make that thing broke there just for buses and and for buses and taxis and That'd bicycles. Be amazing. Yeah. Um, okay. Which would make it, you know, especially in the summer, would make yeah. it a lot better, wouldn't yeah. it? And also, this is where the I think this is where the Albert statue came from. It's in the greenhouse. So there's this. Um, do you guys know about this? No. There's a there's a statue of Prince Albert that was here. And oh, it's outside the town hall now, in the centre of town. No, it's in the greenhouse. It's in the oh, Alexander okay. Park greenhouse. And one of the things that started them, um, starting the re greenhouse project was it was some people w were interested in bringing the Albert statue back because it used to be in the middle where the the dot in the radial hub right mm. in the middle there and then it was taken away and so it was just kind of dumped in the greenhouse apparently yeah. and then some people wanted to bring it back into town yeah. and when they went to find it they saw the remnants of the greenhouse and they're like oh my god this greenhouse is amazing yeah. and so I it's been this the Alexander Park's amazing greenhouse project yeah. where they're bringing back mm. um, an old Victorian greenhouse yeah. and just, they've just got the donation, a massive yeah. private donation to put the roof back on. Mm. It's a fantastic, okay. fantastic it's a great greenhouse space, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Have you bought some of their plants? Yeah, great. Yeah. Do you want 